The Inner Typewriter, the show with typewriters, coffee, and conversations about how to make your writing better. Today with me is Melissa Sestaro. She's the author of the memoir, Pieces of My Mother, and welcome. Thank you, Scott. Thanks for having me on today. Of course. Tell us, first of all, just a little bit about the book. A little bit about the book. Uh, this is a book I spent uh, about 12 years working on and um, had an unusual dynamic growing up in my family. My mom left our family when my brothers and I were all under the age of five. We saw her about once a year. And this is really a story about growing up without a mom and how that shaped me as a parent. And it's set during the last six days I spent with my mom in Olympia, Washington. And it was during that time that I came across a folder called Letters Never Sent. And those letters she had written over many years became part of the narrative. So to have my mom's voice and my voice in the book. And, um, and I'm really grateful it's out in the world. This wow, story. yeah. Well, thanks for being brave and bringing it out into the world. You're also writing some fiction and other nonfiction works as well? I am. Since the book came out, uh, I've been working, challenging myself to write a novel, which is a very different process than writing a memoir. Um, and I'm also working on uh, another nonfiction piece. Uh, sometimes I think it's hard to get away from our themes and our stories. We always have more to tell. Mm -hmm. So there's some, some things I still need to say yeah. on the memoir front. Well, the subject of today's show is writer's block. So Writer's you know, block, what's that? We, yeah, yeah, it's this new concept. It's, it's spreading you know, yeah. like a plague. But some strategies to deal with it, uh, mm. some mm -hmm. um, you know, commiseration and ideas about what it all means. So, I mean, is it, has it ever been a problem for you? Have you ever been you know, just all ready to go and then just nothing? I don't like to call it writer's block. Um, I like to call it, and it's, it's just words and language, but um, I think people get stuck. And I think that that is a normal and healthy part of the process. I think that when you get stuck, that's when you are given an opportunity to look deeper into your story. It can be really frustrating. And I, I did recently um, go through a period where I had a lot going on in my personal life this past year, and so I, I found myself getting stuck. And I found it, um, and, and I never experienced that. Hmm. Like it really took, it really caught me off guard. Um, I think that, um, you know, as we talked uh, some time ago about just getting in the chair and sitting down, um, but I think you might have a dialogue with yourself. You know, what, why am I stuck? You know, what, maybe I should try writing something else. I think it's okay to not, think, oh, this is a distraction if I move away from this project and write something else. I, I think sometimes that can be healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know any writers who haven't been stuck at various points. I think it's a part of the process. Mm -hmm. yeah. But one thing that's true pretty much for everyone is, mm -hmm. yes, it happens to everyone, but it's not fun. No. Yeah. No, it's not fun. And then you beat yourself up, right? Because right. Because you feel like I should be doing this. I should be, this should be easy. I'm a writer. I want to do this. Mm -hmm. um, is that should, is that I should do this and I should do that, is that mm. part of the problem? Yeah, you right? think? I do. I was, um, gosh, there was something I heard recently. Um, I'm going to mention Elizabeth Gilbert ab again um, because she is someone I admire as far as the creative process for thinking. Um, and she was giving someone who was stuck the advice to take a month off mm. and really not write and see how that felt mm -hmm. and and then start back very slowly to very small bites sometimes people set out a big goal for themselves and they say i'm gonna i'm gonna write a novel i'm gonna write a novel like this year and th the bite is too big maybe you need to just go back and work in smaller doses so that's what she was recommending for this mm -hmm. this particular writer who was working on a second book and was stuck um, so someone who had already written a whole book already yeah is not above getting stuck still. Yeah, and I've got, oh, I do have a quick, great story. So Natalie Goldberg, um, who wrote Writing Down the Bones and a wonderful bunch of other books, um, she was talking about a writer um, who said that she would get to page 180. She had written three pages, uh, no, three novels up to page 180. And whenever she got to page around one, 180, she would either lose, 
interest in the story, think it wasn't working, and she'd quit. So she had three novels up to 180. Uh -oh. And um, she, you know, she didn't know what that was. And Natalie Goldberg said to her, she said, you know, it's, it's an act of faith, finishing. Right, you can you, you you can go back to those and pick them up. You know, you lost your faith a little bit, but go back to what inspired you in the first place and see if you mm -hmm. can find that and get back into it. How do you, if you can write, how do you get re-inspired and get that that sort of drive to write back for you personally? Like, how did you get unstuck? So one thing that really helps me um, is listening to other stories and reading other books. You know, I, if I need to, you know, sometimes we get stuck in our own heads, right? And we're, we're thinking about our story, our story. Um, I worked in a bookstore for a while, and I spent a year there just reading a lot of other books and um, seeing and getting and remembering how inspiring it is to read other people's words that, that move you. Um, gosh, it's, it's so tough. It's such delicate territory. Um, and maybe I haven't suffered writer's block hard enough yet. <laughs> um, I know what it's like to be stuck. Um, what I was saying, what I said before about um, listening to other stories about people who were stuck. So uh, I don't want to keep throw out the word inspiration. It's sort of a cliche word, but um, there was something I listened to um, a podcast where it just talked about people who overcame um, obstacles, and it doesn't have to be writing. It can be other things. And um, when I hear other people's stories of persevering and overcoming obstacles, it gives me a little bit of fuel, just like, like lighting a match and like, mm -hmm. okay. So I think you have, to, you have to seek out those things. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Oh, yeah. 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 To yeah. Seek, you know, other people did it. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the, the situation of, of struggle. Yeah. And their example helps get you out of it. Yeah. 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 So... Have you ever heard of or would you recommend any writing exercises just as like the physical act of writing? Does that mm -hmm. sometimes help to get, get you out? Absolutely. Um, I think when you're stuck, that's another good thing is to, is to pop yourself into a, a writing class if you can because then you're surrounded by um, a community of like-minded people who also are writing and that can kind of give you some fuel. But um, Sometimes when I teach, we do a lot of exercises for writing prompts, and I really believe in writing prompts. And someone's got to give them to you, though, mm -hmm. right? What's a good writing prompt so, um, that you know? Here's a really simple one, and it's more pertaining to, mem to memoir. So at the top of the page, you write, I remember. And then you're making a list for like 10 minutes of uninterrupted, unedited time. I remember the first time I went to the drive-in movie. I remember uh, the, the first kiss. It can be small, it can be big, it can be just anything to allow anything that pops into your head, okay? And then you've got this long list that you can go back. There's a reason you remember things, hmm. right? They're, they have an emotional connect component usually. Uh, and then what I'll ask um, the students to do is to look at that list and Put a little star next to the things where you got a little bit of an emotional response as you wrote it down. Mm -hmm. Usually that's where there's a little bit of gold in there, hiding mm -hmm. under there. Um, and then to take, narrow it down to one thing, and then to write, it, write about that one I remember. Just write 15, 20 minutes and just let it go. Put on the gas pedal and don't edit, just write. And it is amazing what can surface. And sometimes, I will tell you, for me, um, over the course of writing this book, I was in writing classes, and some of those prompts are directly in this book. Oh, wow. Yeah. Writing prompts like can be... figured into helping you write? Absolutely. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, I mean, probably some of the words that I did in those prompts are... I mean, I know some of them are. Yeah. Wow. So I think sometimes when we just let go and take away all the judgment and editing and just allow ourselves to be on the page, I mm -hmm. think that can... And that, yeah. that exercise can help mm -hmm. with fiction writing too because it kind of opens you up and at least you're writing something. Absolutely. And that could get yeah. the flow. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow, yeah. great. Well, you know, we hope it doesn't happen to you, but just in case it does, now you've got some some ways mm -hmm. to avoid it. 
Thanks so much, Melissa, for sharing that wisdom. Yes, write on. Keep writing. Melissa yeah. Sestaro, she's the author of Pieces of My Mother, a memoir, and she's working on some other projects that are coming soon. Um, the typewriter that was with us today is a Sears Scholar, uh, <laughs> which I picked up at a garage sale in Denver. Uh, it was actually my first typewriter that I ever got. It was my gateway typewriter. And it's electric, and it's it's a real brute of a machine, but uh, you know it 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 got me started, and I just I love the thing. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Happy typing, and remember to follow, share, and subscribe.